Hello, welcome back to another Godzilla Battle Line video. Today we're going to be using Shin Godzilla. We haven't used this dude in a while. I thought of a team that would be pretty fun for him, and I think y'all are going to like it. We're rocking an all-ground team. We have no flyers in this deck, and we're making use of Gigan's Blade Ripper. Overall, I think this team is very fun, and I'm hoping some of you will want to use it. I know Shin Godzilla is not exactly the best character in the game, so maybe this will influence some people to uh, want to use him or just have a better deck in mind. Is this laggy or am I tripping? Yeah, it is laggy. That's like a weird visual glitch, or am I tripping? I don't know what's going on. But we'll take the time to drop our shin. It does have energy base, a little annoying. But you know, Shin Godzilla ain't scared of nothing. We'll drop the Biolante to deal with this Kumo while it's distracted on 4th Angel here. There we go. You know, not too bad there. Not too bad. Drop Gigan here. And because he dropped that fourth angel, I'm actually going to wait. Yep, we'll drop this, and then we'll blade rippers. That should be pretty good. Dimension tides, so the Kumo augment dies. Explosion does so much from the fourth angel there. Nutty. And he's gonna take the time to drop an energy base. Which I don't know if that's gonna do much for him. And let's see if Guy again just finishes the match. He do. He do be finishing the match. Good battle, Fist Roboto. Next match against Miss Drew 2. This is a player I played in the last video. Don't know if I played them before or if it's just a name swap, but rocking the monkey leader again. That's a respectable cause. A little bummed out, the Kumo Augment dropped on the opposite side, but I think we are going to do a GMK type thing here. Okay, hey, that seemed to work out decently. Our Shin Godzilla is a little bit lower. We don't like to see. But I'm thinking we could just drop Burning Godzilla here. And we're gonna drop by Alante to help with this Kiryu. that train bomb though really doesn't want my shin guts all around I said get out of here but I think we're gonna be good for a push here just gotta wait for the right opportunity because now we have to drop shin Godzilla for six costs instead of him 
evolving and going, so it is gonna change things a bit. Ultraman did get hit by the explosion, that's good though. And we're gonna Blade Ripper. And that's how this team rolls, man. We Blade Ripper on fools. And essentially you can get Shin Godzilla for free in here if you time it with his evolution off kamada -kun. But uh, yeah, I think the team's pretty fun. I think it is very fun. Till we meet again. Next match against Japanese player name. I think. You know, I'm not extremely fluent in all the Asian literature symbols, but uh, you know, we're just gonna go with Japanese because of Godzilla. Ooh, kamada -kun should heal and tank off this, so it's actually not bad. Not too bad there. Rodan's gonna be a little annoying, so we're gonna have to drop GMK Godzilla pretty early. Ooh, level 40 Mega Duiris. We'll drop the Burning Godzilla here. So it looks like Kiryu, Mog, Fyrod, and Mega Gearus. Interesting team. We're gonna speed rush in. Gigan should be able to deal with anything here. Not really worried. I think we're gonna win the match off of this. We'll drop by Alante for insurance. But I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, did not like did not like my rush there. Was not a fan of it. Seemed pretty agitated. But uh, you know, it is very fun. You should try it out, Mr. Other Japanese player name. Next match against Super Angel, rocking the Common Rider Leader. And I do believe we will drop our Schmin Monzilla. Get this thing going. Super Angel does not have a level 30 Angie, which leads me to believe that they are on the lower level side. Angie do be putting in that work though. It's good to see uh, players taking advantage of Angiris. It's gonna get a little weird stalling going off here. Whoa, we didn't drop on Kiryu. Hey! Hey! Honestly, it's not too bad, because if uh, as long as we get the first evolution from kamada -kun to Shinagawa, the push is still very, very strong. So not the worst thing to see. The explosion is going to take out our dudes, and we are just going to drop some burning Godzillas. But overall, not too bad. I think I'm going to drop you preemptively. And then I'm going to drop you. And... Down goes Kumo very fast. Very, very fast. And we should be getting off a lot of damage here. We might be able to even rush this, but Super Angel's not going to give us the chance. I think that is the out of here signal. Next match against No, this is Patrick. I do believe I played No, this is Patrick in my last video as well. We'll start by getting our Biolante and kamada -kun going. There is a barky dog in the background. I apologize if you hear that little rascal. Not mine. But, uh, you know, hopefully the sound of Godzilla music and rollers and um, the rest of the shebang is enough. So I drown it out at least. I 
anyways, we do have a decent thing going on here. Um, I'm gonna DT my Kamatic in a way. I'm not really that worried about it. And as long as we get him, it's okay, and we did, so... Again, not too worried about it. Gonna drop the GMK Godzilla to help deal with the Fire Rodan. And we'll drop our Gigan. Have some fun. Looks like he's gonna drop Gigan to deal with our GMK Godzilla. That looks to be his plan. Nope, the Biolante. But we'll use the DT to help take it out. That looks pretty nice. We're gonna wait till 10 energy and drop our Kamatakun, and we're gonna go for a big fat Mondo Gigan Ripper push on this fool. Yeah, that fire it in. It's not gonna do you too much there. We're just gonna stall on it with my burning Godzilla. We're about to see a fat push. Fat push is going to be engaged soon. Shin Godzilla's up and we have nine energy. That's the thing about Shin Godzilla is he is essentially free energy if you can uh, evolve him off of his Shinagawa form. We may have taken too long, because Fourth Angel and Biolante are very good at dealing with things. But... It's okay. Our Blade Ripper is happening. And it looks like it's enough. GMK Godzilla is going to get him with the splash damage. The push was still enough with Shin Godzilla and GMK putting in the work at the end. Until next time. Next match against Arbok. Arbok, what a throwback. Very cool. Arbok's pretty good too, so we're definitely going to test how our Shin Godzilla team does into him. Biolante is pretty annoying for this team, obviously, because we have all ground units, and Biolante's AoE is massive, especially on London. But, you know, we're hoping to get some stuff and things done. We're gonna hope GMK Godzilla's gonna be able to deal with this. Oh, no. It's not looking like we're gonna be able to deal with this. It's too much! Yeah, we're going down here. We are going down here. Whoa, our fourth angel died like instantly. And we aren't going down. I think Violante is going to finish this. Maybe not. But yeah, the onslaught's going to be enough to stop us here. There's definitely no chance for winning. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. You rushed us really fast. And you can see the faults of Shin Godzilla. Guy takes a long time to get here, but you know what? On to the next one. Next match against Japanese player name with a Mothra leader, which I do like to see because Mothra is a very cool leader. And also because Shin Godzilla gets to proc his AoE ability on Mothra Leader, which is very nice for us. Very nice for us. I think I'm going to walk my fourth angel into this. Yeah, maybe not the best decision.
Oh, it does go down though. And Boucher should go down here as well. We could pressure with a Gigan here, but I'm thinking we just want to get up our Kamada Kun as soon as we can. Thankful that we got off that second GMK Blast. Very thankful. Not thankful for that Psychic Chorus, though. That's really bad. That's actually horrible. It's really depressing. Oh no. Damn, that went really bad. Psychic Chorus is the bane of this team's existence. So it got us last match too. Also not having fourth angel and having to drop Gigan very much sucked last match, but Psychic Chorus is looking to be an issue for this team. Now, I'm pretty sure EVA Unit Zero isn't gonna start the shield mode here. Could be wrong. But yeah, did not start the shield mode. But then just started it. What are they healing from? Invisible Psychic Chorus? Is that what's happening right now? Oh man. Alright, well we'll drop Godzilla again. They dropped Kiryu and are using the Mothra Hill for it. Very interesting. Okay, we do have our Shin Godzilla. Okay, I think we're okay here. We don't need to drop anything. That Psychic Chorus again is invisible. I'm getting pissed off at the invisible Psychic Chorus. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, you know, rushing in. Shin Godzilla beam going off. Okay, keep applying pressure. Keep applying pressure. Shin Godzilla going off on the comma form to get the hell out of here. We got Biolante too. We don't want any of that. And uh, yeah, good battle. That was a very good one. Very good one. Pressure was on, had to be smart. Made it pay off, very nice. Next match against Godzilla 1983. I don't even think that's a movie. Unless that's Godzilla vs. The Wolfman. The greatest movie of all time. Again, a Biolante. You know, I'm not surprised to see Biolante on London, but, you know, it's a little more than I would have hoped to see. Ooh, a lot of ground people up in here. Y'all gonna make me be so grounded up in here. Up in here. Well, I can just zip line straight into a King Caesar charge, which I thought was pretty damn funny, but. And he also did not activate the grapple, which was not very good for us. But other than that, not too bad. We might just be able to rip without Shin Godzilla. But I don't think I want to rip without Shin Godzilla, you know? Who likes to rip without a Shin Godzilla? Not me, that's who. Hey. Hey. 
Fortunately, this King Caesar is going to be a bit of a poopy. Unless we can do something like this. Oh, that was amazing then. Now, that's not too hot. That's not too hot at all. The Mega Gear is perfectly locked on to the GMK Godzilla. Which is uh, sad. Very sad. Yeah, this did not work. This did not work out. But you know, we can make stuff happen again. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm Blade Ripper in it. You know, you just gotta get Shin Godzilla involved in the Blade Ripper and usually everything will work out because Shin Godzilla, Shin Godzilla. Let's see how long it takes him to get into the leader range without Blade Ripper now, though. Probably too long for him to even do anything. Kill the Mega. Oh, you know. You know. You know. Things happen. You know, things just kinda happen. If we had our Blade Ripper for this one, this looks pretty good though. That Hedora poop splash of destiny. <laughs> Shin Godzilla is just, just one mile per hour back here. And... Victory is almost here. That took forever, but there we go. Next match against Japanese player name. If you notice the map has changed, I've had a problem recording these past couple matches to finish this video, let me tell you. Hoping this match and the next match will be the matches that will conclude this video. With that said, got more sweaty meta stuff up in here. I'll have to deploy Burning Godzilla to deal with this dude. Then Biolante. Oh, looks like BG won it, so. Didn't have to deploy by Alante. We'll drop GMK. Then I'll drop fourth angel with immaculate timing. And there we go, not bad. Gonna see if we can save this GMK Godzilla. I don't think we are. Fourth Angel Nutty. Pretty sure Shin Godzilla is gonna get locked up pretty hard here, but I'm hoping he's gonna tank enough for us to get splash damage off on these two. I think I'm just gonna drop BG in here. 
fourth angel is just a problem because like slow pushing with off meta decks is so impossible when fourth angel just blows up and kills everything it's so it's just so annoying i i can't stand these collab units that are in s tier they're ridiculous they are ridiculous Okay, I think I'm just gonna deploy a guy again. It's like, I don't really know what to do about Fourth Angel. It just blows up and kills everything. Well, at least guy gonna get knocked away there, so I guess that's good. Got some good damage off. Let's drop Shin Godzilla, why not? Let's see what Shin Godzilla can do. Absolutely nothing, I'd imagine. Okay. Okay, that did way more damage than I thought it would. That was kind of nuts. Oh, I lose the match now. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad, dude. I, I just want to finish this video. I can't stand using Shin Godzilla. I'm so sad that I had to come back and finish this recording. I hate using this loser. Ooh, four star. Opened a highly mysterious expedition. What do I get? Mephilus four star? Oh no, three star. What is it? What is it? And Eva unit eight. Not bad. I do not have many of her, so I will take it. Next match, and finally last match of the video. Hopefully is Dragos, 4796. And I'm just tired of running into Kuma Augment. I gotta tell you, I hate not having my little one. I hate, hate, hate it. Looks like Geigen is putting in some good damage over there though. It's nice to see. We do have a G21 on the field. Good old G21. And we'll take out this said G21 very, very quickly. Boy, our GMK Godzilla, so he's not in range of getting hit by Kumo, but he's gonna be able to take him out. Then we shall drop Gigan to help there. I mean, we're never gonna use Shin Godzilla again, <laughs> so I might as well try to evolve him for this last battle. God forbid. But uh, if we even make it to that point, some good characters are actually getting the job done here. And it does look like the good characters are going to finish the match. What do you know?
But, uh, you know, I'm happy the video's over. Can't complain. Shin Godzilla, we gave you the best shot we had. I know it was a fun squad with no flyers, but god damn it, dude, you are not good. If Gigan 72 Blade Ripper didn't exist, you would just be F tier. Like, you're just so not good. Your AoE needs to be bigger. Your movement speed could be super slow, I guess, if it has to be that slow, but your AoE needs to be way bigger to make up for it. It's just not enough. It is not enough for a three-stage evolution. The unit by itself is not good. If you had Shin Godzilla alone with no evolutions, it would not be a good character. The unit is freaking bad. And all these other units are just way better. But usually they're going to be paired with not Shin Godzilla and Shine a lot more. I do think this deck has potential for maybe Kaiser Ghidorah in this spot. Maybe I'll try that out and uh, see if, uh, you know, that's worth doing a video for. I know more Kaiser Ghidorah Monster X shenanigans is never too bad. But, you know, Shin Godzilla, we gave you a run. It's been a while since your launch, at least the month of your launch, since we've used you in a ranked battle video. I mean, other than Go Go Godzilla's, but let's be honest, you did way less in those than you did any other time, so you didn't really even show up. But hey, you know, it's all for fun here. I know there's a lot of Shin Godzilla fans, and I know a lot of you would love to watch me use Shin Godzilla in ranked battle videos, so here it is. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day, and peace out.